Good morning, goats. Uh, Shannon here again for you. It's Friday today, January 14th, and we only have a few more days left. Um, and then we'll be seeing you again. Uh, I know it, we could be shut down again, but my fingers are crossed and I'm optimistic about this. Um, so today we have got two Metcons for you at the end of this whole day, but first we're gonna warm up uh, with three rounds. Oh wait, we also have some deadlifts for those of you that do have barbells at home and weights. Lucky you. I'll go briefly over that deadlift strength too, but I'm gonna give uh, you guys at home some options as well, um, just to be working on your deadlift and your posterior strength um, so that you're ready when you come back. But first, warm up. Three rounds of six inch worm with push up. I'll demo. I know you guys are pros at these, but just in case, out into that inchworm, push up. You can either walk your feet back to your hands or your hands back to your feet. This gives you a nice hamstring stretch. Um, then it is calling for a 30 second payload press um, and hold, but I know most of us probably don't have a band at home, so I'm gonna give you the alternative option, which is 30 second side plank. Each side, you're gonna do 30 seconds of this guy here. We're just trying to get our core and our posterior chain warmed up for um, the snatches and stuff we're doing later. So just like that, always, like I said yesterday in the video, shoulder right under, today it's gonna be your elbow, not your wrist. Elbow directly under your shoulder. Try to keep that line nice and straight and your um, obliques engaged and your shoulders active. So after that, we're gonna grab a dumbbell. Calls for barbell. For those of you that do have a barbell at home, it's a staggered stance. Um, dumbbell or barbell, uh, good morning. I'm gonna demonstrate the dumbbell because that's probably what most of us have at home. Um, you're just gonna put it on your back like this. Stagger your stance. You don't want your stance too wide. It makes it a lot more awkward and you just want a nice bend in the knee. Straight back and just bending over that front leg, not the back leg. Um, I don't know how that would look anyways. I don't think you could do that. Okay, uh, you do eight of those per side, and then you're gonna do 10 alternating dead bugs with a three second pause in extension. So just like this, on the ground, hopefully you guys can see me on the camera still. Shoulders off the ground, nice 90 hands straight up, and then at extension right here, three second pause. Up, extension, three second pause. Up, until you hit 10. Then you're gonna do 10 alternating burp dogs with a three second pause as well. So just like this, out, three second pause. All right, you're gonna try to get through that for three rounds. If you got your smart wad timer, you could also just set it for 10 minutes or whatever time you know you have. If you have all the time in the world, go through three rounds and really warm up and really pay attention to engaging in those movements. But if you're trying to stay kind of on a classroom timeline, set your timer for 10 to 12 minutes and then go from there. Now for strength, we've got the deadlift. Uh, you get 15 minutes for the strength today. If you have your barbell, and enough weights or close enough to to do your deadlift percentages it's calling for five reps at 75 percent three reps at 80 and then three times you're going to do one rep at 85 percent so roughly three minutes for each of those rep schemes um, if you like to time it that way that's what i like to do and then you have that appropriate rest between each set um, but if you just like to run off running time, you do you, you're, you're the boss. Um, so yeah, make sure when you're doing those deadlifts, you guys, you really want to make sure that lower back is not bearing that front. You get that nice, uh, sh um, hip width or shoulder width stance in your grip, set your back before you go down for that lift and just make sure your glutes and everything are engaged. Your back is tight and you're lifting with your whole body and not just your back. No straight leg deadlifts. 
Now, if we don't have a barbell today, but we have some dumbbells at home, what we're gonna do, give ourselves 15 minutes to do five sets. You're just gonna pick a rep scheme that you're gonna stick with for each set. So today, say I'm gonna do 15 um, of my dumbbell deadlifts. I'm gonna do it five times and I'm gonna give myself three minutes for each set. So I'm gonna grab my dumbbells, um, get into that stance, set the shoulders, keep the shoulders back. Don't let them roll forward, you guys. You wanna keep that posterior chain really strong. Um, pinch the shoulder blades together, but not, not over, don't over exaggerate it. Just nice and strong. Touch those dumbbells to the ground. Hold them kind of right here. You're gonna point them to the ground and then 15 of these guys, pushing up through the heels so that you're engaging your glutes and your hamstrings. You're gonna do 15 or whatever you picked, depending on your dumbbell weight. That'll probably help you decide. And then you're gonna do that five times. And then when you're all done that, strength, we're gonna to get to the Metcon. It's actually two today. You have an eight minute time cap for each of these Metcons. The first one, is for time, they're both for time, eight minute time cap, 15, 12, nine is your rep scheme. So it's calling for 15 alternating dumbbell snatches. If you don't remember, just in case. Um, oh, I don't know if they're hang or, you get to choose today. You could do hang, you can do power dumbbell snatches. So you can do all the way from the ground up, just like that. Keep that really close, like you're zipping up your jacket, and then extend the arm. Now, if we would rather do hang, go right ahead. Probably also this will be dependent on what kind of weights you have for dumbbells at home. Uh, maybe if they're lighter, you wanna go for a more full range motion just to give yourself a bit more of a challenge. Eh, actually, it doesn't matter either way, you choose. Um, so. 15 alternating dumbbell snatches followed by 15 strict pull-ups. If you don't have a pull-up bar at home, what you're gonna do instead, dumbbells, maybe it's the same ones you're using for your snatches. You're gonna do 15 bent over rows, like this. And then you also have to do 15 upright rows. Just to really work those pulling motions Keep that back strong so that when you come back and you are doing pull-ups, you're still gaining that strength that you need to maintain to do those. So 12 al or 15 alternating dumbbell snatches, 15 strict pull-ups, or 15 um, bent over rows followed by 15 upright rows, then 12 of all of that, then nine of all of that, then you're done. You should take around five minutes to do this. Uh, that's the goal. If you take the whole eight minutes, cool, you really challenged yourself. If you did two and a half minutes and you were done, do it again, because that was way too short. Um, then, when you've had a little bit of time to rest, you're going to get into Metcon number two. Same rep scheme, 15, 12, 9, alternating dumbbell snatches again, um, followed by VFs. So, Dumbbell snatches, just showed you. Then we're gonna get to those V-ups. Nice, strong. I just realized I'm wearing my slippers. Uh, maybe some of you are working out in your slippers. Those guys, you can also do those tuck-ups I showed you yesterday, or uh, sit-ups, whatever's gonna be your best quality, most challenging movement. Um, try to get that done in about five minutes. Uh, if you take the whole eight again, Cool, you challenge yourself. Um, if you did it in two and a half, do it two times again. And that'll be your day for today. Happy Friday, and we'll see you soon.